So what do you think of uh what do you think of Reno now? It's a hell of a nice town. Yeah. I wouldn't mind, I mind living here again, but I don't have you know you get a driver's license here, no problem. It's not like California, pal. Mm. That'd be kind of scary. Not like California. I go down across the city to get the driver's license because that's where the DMV headquarters is building. And uh, boy, you're in and out of there in five minutes. Yeah. It's a piece of cake. Very easy. You think you could pass the driving test now? If you had to take, if they had to It'll put you through a whole battery of tests. They will give you a driving test. If you have a license from some other state and you get a license here, they don't give you the driving test. Mm -hmm. Is it, there's no age thing? Like after 90, you have to take it? Uh, somewhere around 100 or so. <laughs> really? I'm not kidding you. 100? Oh, yeah, wow. I was good for 100. Well, my license. Yeah? So till I reached 100, then I, that was a, oh expired God. then. Wow. gather here today to honor another comrade who has been called to the high command and has gone to report to the commander of us all. Let us pray. Eternal God, Lord of the far-flung battle line to whom the ranks of light report, we bow before you with reverent hearts and in sublime faith, knowing you lead us on in death as you have in life. For again you have ordered a comrade to that realm in the west, beyond the twilight and the evening star, where beauty and valor and goodness dwell forever with the unnumbered multitude, mindful of service nobly done. You have called everlasting west, Bob. You have sealed his lips with the faded blossom of springtime and the withered leaves of autumn. You have called our comrade to eternal peace, to the land of your silent mystery. Hear now the sorrows of those who mourn and touch their tired hearts with healing. Protect them with thy holy care, Keep clean and bright in our memory the splendid flame that now has flickered out and shelter us with your compassion. Lord of our life who lives forever, again you have taught us the measure of our days. We are sojourners in life as our fathers were. Our days are as a shadow and there is none abiding, but you abide. Your, tear, your years fail not, you never change. A thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday when it is past. And as we close our eyes in the night, the grass withers, the flowers fade, but your word endures forever, and herein is our help and our hope. You heal the broken in hearts and bind up their wounds. Comfort your people in their sorrow. May there be no bitterness, no doubt of your eternal goodness, and allow them to know that we do not mock, that we do not mock us with this stubborn hope of eternal eternity that having created and cared for us, you will not desert us to dust, and that you hold us with the love unfailing, and that are dead in your keeping, and that you are able to do far more for them than we ask or think. Until for us also the day breaks and the shadows flee, grant us that our lives may honor the comrades who have gone before us. Together may we come to the city which you have prepared for those who love you and keep your commandments, for your own name's sake, amen. amen. We come to honor the memory of one who has offered life and service to our God and country. One who is now enrolled in the Lord's silent or spirit army whose footfalls cause no sound. But in our memory, their souls go marching on. And proudly we remember their service in time of war. And because of them, our world is blessed. May the ceremony of today deepen our reverence for our honored comrade and friend. 
we realize how fruitful are mere words to express our deep and abiding sympathy in your loss. And may you feel that Bob is at rest and in endless peace. And generation after generation, all the shadowy peoples of the past have lived as we lived, pre pre perplexed and mystified by death. They've gone into the great beyond with hearts filled with, with so longing as we all must go. Surely there's an afterlife for all who have been loyal and true, a life to which light and peace shall come where the burden shall be lifted and the heartache shall cease, where the love, the hope, and the fulfillment that escapes us here shall be given to us and be ours forever. Let us pray. O oh God, who heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, look in tender pity and compassion upon thy servants, whose joy has been turned to mourning. Leave them not comfortless, but grant that they may be drawn closer to thee and to one another by their common sorrow. Fill their souls with the light and the comfort of thy presence. Grant upon them such a vision of that life within all mysteries shall be revealed and all tears wiped away, and that they may be able to endure. So dwell with them and be their God until the day breaks and the shadows flee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Underground, prepare to fire three volumes.
as a representative of the President of the United States. And the All Veterans Honor Guard, it is my highest privilege to present this flag to you. Let it be a symbol of grateful appreciation our nation feels for the distinguished service rendered to our country and our flag by your father. I have placed three cartridges inside your flag. They stand for God, country, and our American flag. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. For as much as God has taken out of the world the soul of our departed comrade, we therefore will soon commit the body to ground, to sleep, and a soul to rest in endless peace. The dust returneth to earth as it was, and a spirit returneth unto God who gave it. Amen. It has long been a sea service custom that when an individual leaves one command and is assigned to another, that person is piped over the side. Seaman Robert will now be assigned to the staff of the Supreme Commander. Veterans, hand salute. For as much as the spirit has departed from the body, we do commit this body to its final resting place. But the spirit, which is the true person, we commit into the hands of Almighty God, who first gave us life, and to whom alone we have the hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.